That's what aim is to turn it into a venue. Venue for what? Uh, well, you know, uh, weddings, parties, bar mitzvahs, <laughs> girl mitzvahs. Bat mitzvahs. <laughs> for bats. What? Um, we need it to look nice, so so if you could avoid the bad bits. Well, all of them. <laughs> well, just find the best angle. Yeah, I mean, we know that the camera never lies, but if it could not tell the whole truth, then mm. that would be very handy for us. I'll see what I can do. Right. There's simply not enough slaves to do the whole roof! Uh. It's the third Earl of Windborn. Okay. There's one wrong. I'm not sure Impressions Club's going to work, is it? Well, let's not be too hasty. No one's heard my Nelson Mandela. Outrageous. I haven't done it yet. No, 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 no. Ellison, get the tradesman off the lawn. Step, step. And um, Rory, do you, can we try? Way? Yeah, just all the way off the lawn. A little bit. Yeah. Both feet. Yeah. Come and, more, up. and just. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever happened to standards? Absolutely. Mustn't let things slide. All it takes is a little effort. I had no idea. If indeed that is me, she looks at least 20 years older. <laughs> How come she can be seen? Well, perhaps it's only if you're grumpy. Ah. Uh, or ugly. Well, her photo's all over Facebook now, so we can say goodbye to doing events. No one wants a haunted wedding. No one will know. Look, it's only one window and he doesn't say where it is. Hmm. Okay, but does anybody actually read the comments? Yeah, just look at them gullible cretins. I mean, what sort of moron believes in ghosts? You are a ghost. Well, yeah, but, you know, before I became one, you wouldn't have caught me believing in this sort of nonsense. I'm gonna go and talk to them. You say what? That there's no such thing as ghosts. Yeah, you tell them. Bloody weirdos. Hi, hi, I'm Alison, and I own the house, and, um... I do. Look, I know why you're here, but I can assure you that there are no ghosts. A ghost. There is no ghost. I know that it looks like a very spooky old house, but but there's nothing creepy going on here, actually. Hi, Alison. Open the gate. Ready? Now. Will you make us move the van? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I know how that looks, uh, but that is unrelated to the ghosts. Ghost, um, look, the photo is a fake, and I'd really appreciate it if you could all just go home, please, and not go spreading any rumours or... Well, that worked. Mm. Right, proceed to zone three. Oh. The kitchen, Danny, check your map. Can you hear that? What? That thing there picks up ghost voices. Maybe we can help after all. Help Alison? Yeah. Speak into that microphone and we can prove that this house is haunted. What would we say? Um, hello. And, um, welcome to Button ha Welcome to Button FM. I'm Pat Butcher. Boo 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 boo. The greatest teacher in the area. Pat. Butcher! And joining me this week is renowned poet Thomas Thorne. How are you, Thomas? Thomas, we're on the air. 
And we'll be right uh, back with Thomas after this song from local band Chicken and Chips. It's called Where's the Cream? Greetings, my apparition apostles. The Ghostmaster General here on the hunt in the kitchen of Button House, where restless spirits are said to... Turn the light off. Was that it? Well, yeah, but it's, like, really spooky, because it's when you least expect it. Usually. Robin! Oh, it's not me! Ooh, clever. Oh, well, why don't you sleep with her, then? We can't. We've talked about this. Duke, play that game. Things are kicking off here, guys. This is getting pretty spooky. Oh, yes, that's really thrown them off the scent. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, he's down. He's down. It's over. <laughs> it's now. It's over. Do you want some milk? Do you want a, do you want a glass of milk? No, thank you. Oh, that really freaked them out. They're all yours. Right then, to the ballroom. Well, we know where they're not. Come along, Fanny. Down you go. But it's cold and damp down there. You can't feel the cold. <laughs> or can we? Yes. Cool the muscles. Improve performance. A little light air might just give me the edge. <laughs> and of course, your poetry rhymes, which is A, harder, and B, shows you have a real passion for the English language. Is that fair to say? Yes. And we'll be back with Thomas after these advertisements. Buy cheese. Please. Louise. Buy Louise's pleasing cheese. Made from only the freshest Jersey milk, lovingly thumbed from our all Frisian herd. <laughs> oh. Stop, Mike. Ready, steady, go. For king and country. Oh, I feel so sick. Can you get me some water? Do you remember what? That's my voice. I don't remember leaving the pub. <laughs> Must have had fun. At least we don't have to work today. Mm. Oh. Mm. <sighs> Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Hello? Sorry, who from who? Isabel from Bell's Weddings. Mm. Yeah, ah, oh, mm. thanks for getting in touch. Yeah, we are really keen to be on your books. If you'll have us. <laughs> it's a lovely house. Today? I wonder if... if no, 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 no. Oh, no, OK, today, today's fine. Mm. Today's fine. Maybe just sort of, like, late after one o'clock, is it? <laughs> All right. OK, bye. Oh, my God. OK, I just need to shake this off. <sighs> Bit of breakfast. <sighs> we'll be fine. <laughs> Shut your mouth! It is a man! 
Action! I'm here, boys! The impertinence. Oh, this looks like fun. The ballet nerve. Yeah. It's gone midnight. Yeah, it is very late. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome to my house! I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you did.